Legolas is a Mirkwood elf, um, which is one of the woodland realms. Strangers from distant lands, you will unite or you will fall. You have my sword. And you have my bow. He's a warrior, essentially. And that's basically my, my role at, in the fellowship, you know? Yeah, I'm going to do this sort of swinging motion like this. Yeah. They have a hyper keen sense of sight and hearing and a beautiful relationship with nature. And they're just sort of very powerful, special creatures. And they're immortal. So they haven't known sickness or pestilence. They can be slain in battle or they can die of a broken heart. But that's about it. It's just in the middle of his preparation. He's prepared, he's got it. I'm trying to focus here. I'm trying to get my objectives and my actions right. Just because you don't even think about anything like that, you know. And the humans are slightly threatened by the elf. Is he posing? The comely elf, isn't he? We have this joke where we, we dig at each other, me and me and Aragorn, me and Vigo. <laughs> Bean Boy, so threatened, these humans, honestly. So threatened by the elves. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, well, at least I don't smell. And at least I'm going to live forever. So we get a little bit of uh, the odd dig here and there, you know. But um, that's just because I can't use a bow and arrow the way I can. <laughs> One of the most challenging parts for me was trying to understand the martial art enough and getting the movement right. <laughs> I always think of him as a cat, in a way. You know how a cat will, like, hop up onto a table and just sort of stop with no forward locomotion? It'll just stop there, and it'll be sitting still and alert on top of a table, you know? It's, they're, they're kind of like that. They have this kind of graceful, poised movement that's always switched on. Something draws near. I can feel it. 